Halloween is right around the corner, and because of that, I thought it would be nice to do a Sailor Mars inspired makeup tutorial today. So uh, I already have my foundation already set, basically you just want a matte face for that. Um, here I'm using a Holika Holika eyebrow pencil and I am drawing in my eyebrows. For Sailor Mars, you kind of want to give her kind of a fierce arch. I'm not exactly sure how to explain that in any other way, but because Mars or Ray has such a fiery personality, it only makes sense to kind of give her some like what I like to call it, bitch brows. Here I am going to use an e.l.f. eyebrow powder. I'm taking the darkest color and I'm going in to make the eyebrows look just a little bit more darker but wearable considering I didn't know whether or not my wig was going to work out or not. Um, this is also helping me make the brows more precise as well. Next I'm using an Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, it's the original one to prime my eyes so the vibrant colors will stay on and not crease throughout the day. Next I'm using Kat Von D's Smile Binding Palette and I'm using the light purple color for a good eyeshadow. Um, base color. Basically, I've seen a lot of people do Sailor Mars' eye makeup um, red, but instead of going all red or kind of fiery, I'm actually giving her a purple base, kind of like the bows on her uniform, and um, I'm going to put in hints of red later. Using the same palette, I'm taking the darker purple up top and I'm going to put it on the outermost edges of my eye makeup and I'm also using this into the crease to give us a more defined crease and kind of give us a transitional purple color. I'm using Urban Decay's Ammo Palette, I'm getting the lightest purple color and putting it over the light purple we've already applied. This is going to add more glitter to that look, which I feel like gives a better Magical Girl feel. Using one of my Tokidoki quads that um, you can't get anymore, I'm taking a dark purple color and applying yet again on that crease line even more to kind of give a metallic feel. The Kat Von D eyeshadows were basically just being used as a base for the more shimmery colors. So I didn't show it here, but there's a burgundy color in the same eyeshadow quad, and I'm putting that on the outermost part of my eye nearest to my brow bone. Um, this is going to give us kind of a fierce eyeshadowy cat eye. Um, I think this is really, really neat and also kind of gives like a mask-like look for when like Sailor Mars or any of the Sailor Senshi transform actually. 
Next, I just took a fluffy brush and blended it all out and also highlighted um, my brow bone area also to kind of lighten that red color up and just make it a gradual fade. And here's where the trademark red comes in. I'm using the red color in the Spellbinding palette by Kat Von D and I'm going over that burgundy color and really, really emphasizing that burgundy even more. The burgundy is just to make it more wearable, but um, this red is really going to make it a trademark Sailor Mars look. Again, I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm just blending that out so it's not as harsh looking. Next, I'm taking a Tude House's Teardrop Eyeliner and just placing that on the innermost parts of my eye for a highlight down on the bottom. Um, I know it's hard to see because that mirror is constantly in the way, which is so lovely. Here I'm using the Sailor Moon Eyeliner, the Miracle Romance one. Um, it's in the red color, which is the Sailor Mars color. And I'm just lining my utmost eye with this gradually. Um, this is kind of a tricky product to work with, so um, you have to be very, very patient. I'm doing my uppermost corner and down at the bottom just a little bit. Um, this is really going to emphasize the red and give us kind of like a red highlight. Um, after this, you could probably wear it alone with mascara, but um, later on I'm about to go over it just a little bit with black eyeliner since we're going to apply falsies on top, but um, I do have to admit, it looks pretty cool this way afterward. Like I mentioned before, um, we're going to put falsies over this, so um, the liner kind of needs to blend in so it looks a little bit more natural. So I'm using the Dolly Wink Liquid Eyeliner in black and kind of trying not to go over that red too much with the liquid eyeliner. Um, yet again, eyeliner is probably the most stressful process of any of my makeup routines, so this can take a little bit. Um, I'm going over the top part of my eye and just a little bit on my bottom as well since we're applying... Um, a half bottom lash later on. Thank you liquid liner for uh, bleeding everywhere over top that of that red I just had. Um, so I'm going over the um, eyeliner with the red eyeliner again that I had used before um, just so we kind of get that metallic red in there. Here I am using the Naked Flesh palette in Native and I'm just contouring with the bronzing shade, trying to define my face more and make it um, less baby doll looking and more defined. Uh, I feel like Sailor Mars kind of has a bitchy face so because of that I think we need high cheekbones and some serious contouring going on. I'm taking a rip on blush in a rose color and I'm just putting that on the apples of my cheeks um, just because I feel like it gives more of a rosier appearance and makes Sailor Mars look a little less dead. And the color gets just a little bit too much, put some powder on and blend that stuff out. Going back to the Naked Blush palette, I'm using the highlight color just to highlight and um, emphasize my cheekbones a little bit, the nose bridge, the chin, um, and the forehead area.
To put some more glitter on that inner eye highlight, I am using the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the gold color, which is also pretty fitting, and putting that over top of the Etude House Liner. Using my favorite mascara in the world, which is the Holika Holika Magic Pill Mascara in um, number two, which is the volume one, I am doing my top and bottom lashes. Um, the ball on the end really, really helps to get to those hard to get places. And um, if you wanted to leave the look like this, you could, but I am personally about to add some falsies onto this. Um, but you could totally, with this mascara, just get away with your regular lashes even. Um, this has been kind of a holy grail item lately. I'm using the John Komori Lashes, the Eye Amazing ones in number two. I am using Dolly Wink glue, putting the glue on like so, and applying top lashes. Um, yet again, the best way to kind of get a dolly like look is to apply the lash and press it down where you need to, and then press upwards so the lash stands up um, to kind of give that um, big eyed appearance. I'm taking half of a top lash, just the edge corner, and um, I'm using it as a bottom lash. Um, this kind of gives a more cat-like eye, um, especially since it's not a full bottom lash. Last step is to apply a Peripera lip tint. Um, this is the cherry red color, and I'm just applying it on my lips like so. Um, this lip tint tends to bleed a little less, so your lip color is going to stay all day throughout whatever you're doing, whether it's cosplay or Halloween. Um, it's been one of my favorite products lately as well. So basically after that step and applying a wig, you, this is the completed look. Um, I know a lot of people like Sailor Mars, so I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys.